The end user does not determine who a contract is awarded to. However, when they provide their request to the contracting officer, the contracting specialist, they do suggest who they would like to use. It is essential for the contractor, the vendor, to get in contact with the end user as well as the contracting officer. My name is Aisha Mays and I know a great deal about federal contracting because I have over four years of federal contracting experience. An end user is defined as the department that will use your services. In my opinion, more important that you get in contact with the end user, with the different departments, so that they know who you are, they're familiar with the products you provide, they're familiar with the services that you could provide. Because when the request for items or services comes in to the contracting officer, it comes from the end user. So if the end user is already familiar with who you are, what it is you do, your name will be listed and the market research will be conducted on you as a vendor first and foremost to see if you can provide the products that the end user is saying you can provide. When trying to determine who your end user is, it would be a great idea to look up your local VA clinic or local VA hospital, take a look at the different departments that they have and look up who those department heads are. That could be radiology, that could be prosthetics, it could be psychology department, it could be a research service department, it could be someone in administration because the department heads essentially are the decision makers. So you would reach out to them and while they may not be the individual that is doing the request or submitting the request for a specific service or a specific product, they are the individuals who have to approve the request before it goes to procurement, whether it be procurements under 3,000 or under 2,500 or whether it be procurements over that are going into the contracting office. So having that rapport built with, again, the end user is imperative. And you would find exactly who that end user is by taking a look at who the points of contact are for the different departments within the local clinic or VA hospital when we're talking about the Department of Veterans Affairs. Look at your local visit, whether it be eight or 23, take a look, find out who the contacts are in the various departments. It would also be a good idea to get in contact with the cores, which are the contracting officer's representatives, which are typically in the end user's department and may actually be the end user who is submitting the request for services or products. So if as the contractor, as the vendor, you have built a good rapport and they have good information from you regarding services or products that you provide, when they make that suggestion to the contracting officer, the contracting officer is gonna definitely take it into consideration. And if that brand recognition, that name familiarity is there, it's highly likely that you'll be awarded the contract before others. What you want to do is make sure that your website is easily accessible, that the information is very clear, that if the contracting officer needs to reach out to you, whether it be via email or phone number, that that information is listed as well. Uh, if you provide products, it would be great to have maybe a catalog uh, listed, maybe as a PDF for them to see the different item numbers as well as the specifications associated. And if you're talking about products, make sure you have images because sometimes companies will call items different things, but the specifications will be the same. When you're getting in contact with the end user, the person who will actually use your services, the person who will actually need your services, they will remember who you are because you actually provide something that they need specifically.